Hello everyone, welcome to another very late upload of mine. I just recently found a case full of SC cards while I was cleaning my room. One of the SC cards containing last summer's trip to Oaxaca, Mexico. I didn't want this film to go to waste, so this week's video will be a travel diary from our three-day trip to Oaxaca. Just a fun fact, my entire family originally migrated from Oaxaca, making my brother and cousins and I first-generation Americans here in the States. We were in Oaxaca in order to visit our family, of course, and to sightsee as much as possible in a matter of only three days being in Oaxaca. And this is what it consisted of. Day one was a family day. Most of the time we spent it playing games with family, which I didn't feel much of because they were already tired of me vlogging at this point. We ate nothing but delicious, authentic Oaxacan cuisine, and I ate that stuff quicker than I can record. Son borregos. Borreguitos. Chivitos. Borregos. Borregos. Ew. Look, he's That's what happens. Day two, we visited the city of Oaxaca. If you ever get raspados from Oaxaca or from Mexico in general, go for the fruity flavors. I don't know why I tried getting a cappuccino flavor, hoping it would taste like Starbucks. Now, the main city of Oaxaca, you're going to see a lot of Spanish architecture. The architecture overall throughout the entire city was gorgeous and of course very Catholic. Day 3, we ended up paying for a tour from the locals. By the way, none of my relatives are actually from the main city of Oaxaca. We ended up driving in from a small town about 40 minutes away, which is why we ended up paying in the first place. Our first stop was to El Tule, which is the name of this tree which sits at the center of the town of Santa Maria. The tree is estimated to be over 2,000 years old. Nobody is supposed to touch it at it whatsoever, but my brother ended up doing this. You did. I stole it. You took it off the tree, didn't you? When everywhere it said, don't cut the tree. You deserve to be with it. You're gonna lose that piece too. It's bad luck. Yeah, you're gonna have bad luck for 2,000 years. But I threw a coin in the fountain. Our next stop was about 20 minutes away. Not too sure. I did fall asleep on the way there, to be honest. But we visited a traditional indigenous rug making place. And basically, all of the items and the clothing made there, especially the rugs, all of it is dyed naturally from flowers, nuts, uh, plants, a variety of different things. And as you can see, the actual practice of creating these beautiful rugs are very intricate and it's a lot of hard work, taking up to maybe three to six months at least for each one of the designs. We did end up purchasing a rug from them, which is pretty much right here. Next, we visited a mezcal house slash farm. Pretty much at this house, they showed us the entire process of how they make it, which is my dad's dream. Basically, mezcal is the Mexican version of whiskey, basically. I don't drink alcohol because, of course, one, I can't legally in the States, and two, I think it tastes like poop and I like my liver. But it was in Mexico, I'm not there very often, so I allowed my family to peer pressure me into to drinking a few shots. That's so much. <laughs> 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 He's on med. So now at this point, my tiny foodless body walked around the ruins of Mitla next.
Most of it was destroyed, of course, by the Spanish, which sucks. Then I uh, ended up going out to eat where we took some more pictures and I also got on a slide which burnt my butt. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Finally, we took a swim at the edge of a canyon called the Erbelagua, which is pretty much translate to boiling water, which are basically nature's version of infinity pools. My camera isn't waterproof, so you're not going to get any footage on this, of course. A big thing I regret film not filming enough of was definitely the food markets here in Oaxaca, which are pretty much all throughout the state. This one was closer to the actual town that my mom is from. Lastly, another thing I regret not filming as much was of course my family, because I still get shy around them, especially to film, um, but I'm working on that slowly but surely. This concludes my little short video of my trip to Oaxaca. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give a like, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel to get updated on any other adventures that I will be taking this summer in Europe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!